If you're not making at least part-time income from the TikTok creativity program in 2024, you are missing out. People are making up to $13,000 every month, and all they do is post these easy AI videos that probably take 10 minutes to make. So I'm going to show you my entire blueprint on how to start your first page in a really viral niche, how to go actually viral with your first couple of videos, and along the journey, I'll reveal some great tips. But first up, the niche, right? I've been doing some research, and if you have at least some experience of social media automation, then you might know that riddles and quizzes are taking over YouTube. But you know what? They're not as common on TikTok. This is something you can capitalize on if you act quick. Now, I know that many of you watching this video are not from the US, and if you know anything about the creativity program, then you know that they just allow certain people from certain countries to join. But luckily, I've got a solution for this. So, when doing some research, we found this website that makes these US TikTok accounts. It's called USTTaccount.com. Now, I'm not affiliating for them, I will not paste any link down there in the description. I'll just use this myself. What happens here on this website is that people that live in the US, they started making these accounts and now they sell them, right? As you can see, it's $50 a piece. Pretty good for us. And especially when you know that US TikTok accounts usually have much higher RPM. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, it's time for the video creation. And let me tell you, this video is not like my other videos. We're gonna be using an old method called bulk create in Canva, which lets us create over 30 videos with just a few clicks. This means you can compete through volume, or if you're serious about this, open multiple accounts that you push simultaneously. But that's something I'll get into later in the video. First step is generating the quiz questions that will be used in this video. And as always, we're gonna be using our dear friend ChatGPT. Now, the key move here is asking ChatGPT to structure the response in a table format. As you can see, my first prompt, it gave me something like this. So if this happens to you as well, let me just scroll down. I just have to do one more prompt, like make one table out of this, okay? So make one table out of all this. But the first prompt that made these questions here it is. I will paste this down there in the description so you can just copy and paste and use it yourself. So the end result has to look something like this, all right? So this is the perfect result. Now for the second part, we need to generate the images. For this, I use Leonardo AI. It's free, it's really easy to use. You just have to check what the first quiz being mentioned in your video will be about. Then just go over to Leonardo and just click on here, image generation to create a new image. So what is the process by which plants make their food called? So it has to be something about plants. I'll go here, type in beautiful plant. Let's just generate a few of these. Now this is much easier to use than any other method. For example, mid journey or something like that. For example, I like this one. It looks really nice for us. Click on the download image right now and it's gonna go over to your device. Now it's time back to move over to Canva, but don't worry, we're not gonna make any boring designs. Canva has a secret bug create features that is absolutely bonkers, and that's what we want to use. So just go over to canva.com and I'll show you all every needed step. However, with these videos, you can of course use the same method, but if you want to make your own design to make it more personalized for your TikTok page, be my guest. Keep in mind that you can always go back to ChatGPT prompt and change the topic of it if you want to create a page in a more specific niche. But anyways, let's just get started with the building, shall we? When you get to Canva, you can sign up yourself for 30 day free trial and create a new project with TikTok format, all right? You can just type in TikTok and you will get this TikTok video. Click on that. Here go and create a blank new one. We don't wanna use any templates. Now, firstly, what you wanna do, go over to the uploads section and upload that image that we have downloaded from Leonardo. Here it is. I'll just move it over here and I'll just make this to fit the whole screen, all right? So this is what we wanna do. Okay, here are some plans for us. This is the background image. I also like to change the duration of this clip to in about, let's say, eight seconds, which I'd say is enough time for each quiz question. And the reason for this is because your videos need to be over one minute long. It's actually the requirement for being able to monetize your videos on TikTok creator rewards is that you include like eight quizzes per video 
to reach the perfect length. TikTok is actively just like pushing these longer videos, like, I don't know, maybe some hidden algorithm or whatever. They just wanna push these longer videos. They wanna compete with YouTube, so it's good to make longer videos, nevertheless. So now that the length and the background is good, we can prepare for the bulk creation by creating all of our headers. So go over to text and click on add a heading. Move it over here and then just copy and paste this five times, all right? So copy and paste five times until you just have them all on the screen. And I'll just place this like this, this like here, just move it like this. And I'll place this one on top of this one, all right? You're gonna see why I did this in a second. I also like to name these so I know what these are about later on, but that's up to you. But just know that the top header is gonna turn into a actual question, right? And all these other headers will be the alternatives to choose from. So what do you wanna do with all of these? You wanna go and click here and go and show timing, all right? And you wanna do this only for these three alternatives, right? Not for the quiz question. I'll just delete this one. So all these alternatives, let me just move this back. So all these alternatives have to have a timer and I'll just make them six seconds, all right? So they're gonna disappear on the sixth second. Let me just tell you and show you how this looks like. So. I'll just play this one, and as you can see, when it comes to six seconds, they are going to disappear. And we've left with the question and the answer only, okay? So that's the first part. Now for this one, which is going to be the answer, show timing of this one as well. But this one has to show up at the last two seconds of the video, all right? So now just have a look how this looks like. So there's going to be all of these, and then this one is going to appear. Now I can just change this to like answer let's just make answer and i'll just make this white i don't know why this is black okay let's leave it like this for now now in order to make the text pop a little bit you can click on it and you can go over to these effects and here we'll be able to add a little bit of this outline and i'll just make like the black outline let me just choose the color here so yeah black outline maybe a bit thicker so yeah it's seen more so 140 40, let's say, and I'll do this for all of the other ones. So outline, choose the black color, go and like 140, let's say. And actually I'll do this for all of the other ones, all right? Black color, yeah, now it looks way better. For these three, I can also add a background, maybe some fun color, maybe red. Well, not so sure about that one, but maybe green. Yeah, green might be good. Maybe transparent a bit. Now I like it, right? Looks good. Also, you can add an animation here. Click on the answer, click on an E animate, and then choose something that you like. For example, this bounce effect might be nice. So have a look at it now. You've got the quizzes, you've got, and then the answer pops up. So you can also go here to timers. You can just type in timer and grab one of these timers that you see here. For example, this one, I like this one. I'll just put it here. It also has this like ticking sound. Maybe five second timer is gonna be better. Here we have this one. Doesn't look so bad, I'll just put it there. This will just keep the viewers on their toes and I will go right click on it, show timing and because all of this is eight seconds, remember, I'll make this timer appear on the third second because it's five seconds long, right? So like this, so let's just see how it looks like right now. So yeah, looks really, really nice, right? I know why this timer is bad. Now it's gonna be better, so yeah, three, two, one and the answer comes okay it is perfect now i think so one and the answer comes yeah it's good now you can also add the effect for the background image it's just going to be better for engagement click on it click on the animate here and there's this one down there which is called wiggle but you got to reduce the intensity of it to like maybe the lowest amount you know because just so it doesn't be aggressive you know it tends to be much much aggressive so i'll just do it like this and you see now it has way better engagement now so as you can see yeah it's a little bit like the video it's really good honestly now after all this hard work it is time for some mind-blowing stuff since we got all of this in a table format all you gotta do now is to go and copy the whole table go back to your design go here to these apps you see that i have bulk create here but that's 
because I've been using it before. You're not going to have it if you haven't been using it before. So go over to these apps and search for bulk, right? Just type in bulk and there's going to be bulk create down there. As you can see, bulk create, this is going to be the one. Click on bulk create and here you can just click on enter data manually. Not a lot of people know about this one. Enter data manually, click on this one, the first box here, and then just paste that table that you've got from ChatGPT. What do you got to do now? Click on the done here. All right, click on done. And now you just have to teach Canva which one of these options belong where on the screen. All right, I hope that makes sense. So for the quiz here, I'll right click on it and I'll just click on connect data here. And then for the quiz, you're going to go to the option question. So it becomes like this. The first here, click on that again, click on connect data and it's going to be the option A and then just do for all the other ones. And of course, the last one, connect data, correct answer. And it's done now. All right. We tell it what to do. All right. Now, all you got to do is to click here on the continue button and it's going to do the job. I chose 15 designs now, so I will generate 15 designs. And then here you can see how this looks like. Now, what's not good is that this question is really big. So you'll just have to go and you'll just have to make these manually. The width is always going to be helpful to you. So just make the width for the whole screen. So the text doesn't look as big as it is with for this one as well. And as you can see down there, all of these have been made. All right. And all of these will have the timer. All of these will have those timings on those questions. You can add a little bit of background music. You can add the voiceover, which is like reading out loud the questions and the answers. This is going to be better. Of course, you can use 11 laps for it. And of course, for each one of these, all you got to do is to change the background image. So if uh, this is like something prime minister of the United Kingdom, female one, you can just put a queen behind for this one here. You can just put whatever, just whatever is being said in the question. All right. But the first one is done. So just have a look at this. It's really, really good and it's engaging. It has this timer and of course it has the question pop up. It's really good. So eight of these is going to be 64 seconds. And if you're consistent with it, if you just post, for example, three to four of these each day, trust me, in one or two months, you'll have so much views. All right. This is popular. People love watching these. All right. And all these people that are successful, they're just consistent. You see here, it's not rocket science, but it takes time to just sit there and make all of this. But hey, you've got a lot of help with the AI. So just be patient and be dedicated. Wish you good luck.